So once again, Israel has proven to be the multicultural society it wants the world to know it is. Rose Postans, the Filipino caregiver from the Levinsky district in Tel Aviv, went to audition for the X Factor and against all odds won the competition and in the process became a global role model. The production of X Factor surprised Rose when they arranged for her longtime life's partner Mel Adele to come to Israel for the finale and reunite with her sweetheart after three years the two have not been able to meet. Rose is very uh, known in the Philippines. I'm very happy that uh, I can come before the finals. So, very, very happy. That's it. Go for it. Standing tall and proud that one meter and 50 centimeters rose for Stannis was beyond words after she was pronounced the winner. I'm speechless. I cannot say anything now. I, I, I don't, I really, I can't believe that it happened to me this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much to all the Israeli and to all the Filipinos around the world who's working like a caregiver like me. Thank you so much for all the supports and I really love... Um, did you expect the Israelis to embrace you, to love you as much as they did? Uh, no, I don't believe it, but uh, when I'm seeing it on the street that they, they care and love, uh, they care about me, I, I start to believe it. Some people search for a fountain The Filipino ambassador to Israel, General Sodigi Kolonga, who has been following Rose throughout the whole competition, admits that Rose has become a national hero to Filipinos all around the world. We help her in um, meeting uh, her sister and uh, the girlfriend. We assisted her somehow. And uh, we are proud of her achievement. And we're happy that um, she has she had this chance to prove herself in her uh, singing talent because uh, she is some kind of a late bloomer in a way and uh, this added a new dimension to, to her uh, personality as, as, a, as, a, as a skilled person and also as a talented person. It's a source of pride. We're happy that she did it. Shirin Maimon, who herself started her career on an Israeli talent show many years ago and rose to international stardom after representing Israel at the Eurovision Song Contest, served as Rosa's mentor on the show, claims she truly feels proud of being an Israeli following Fostanza's victory. For her in Israel, um, she didn't speak Hebrew, uh, she didn't sing in, in, in Hebrew, uh, but yet the, the audience in Israel vote for her. It means that they just took everything aside and they believed in her, in her voice, in her story. And it's so, you know, it's emotional for me. I was so excited today. It doesn't matter how old you are, you know. For her, it was uh, like um, her last chance uh, to do that, to, to, to fulfill her dream. That was her dream since she was like three years old, but she was somewhere um, taking care of people for the last 30 years and it was sad. It was sad for me to hear it because her dream is to be a singer. So she came all the way to Israel to, uh, to, to have the dream come true. It's crazy. And I'm proud of, my, of Israel. I'm proud of the, the voters, you know, that they vote for her. It's amazing. So Rose, her sister and her girlfriend are celebrating out on the town and Israel has a new hero in the winner of X Factor. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Israel.